Hello, today is April 8th. There are readings for April 7th and April uh, 8th. Um, it's been rather stressful recently with a lot going on and just some perspective shift. Um, today we had a rally at school and it was very well celebrated. Um, a great time to just going back to something normal that we haven't had for a long time. And uh, I'll be planning to do a visit soon, so that'll be exciting as well. Um, April 7, before I go into that, I want to quote Shrek 3, um, or the latest one I watched today. It says that we often um, don't appreciate something until it's gone, and then we lose it. And that's so true when we reflect on it. There's so many times we just dismiss the things we take for granted. Um, April 7th reading, Fulton Osler said, Many of us crucify ourselves between two deeps, regret for the past and fear of the future. If only our two words can sit in that immense emotional pain. We all make relationship mistakes. We all said and done things to our friends and family that we wish we hadn't. It's prudent to learn from mistakes, but that sometimes can make it difficult for us to live in the now. Judgment, judgment leaves, lives, forgiveness dies. Forgiveness can only flourish in the presence of understanding. We're all trying our best with the skills and resources we have in the moment. When we truly accept this, we can begin to accept ourselves. If we look at back of relationships that ended, rather than look, judging our own characters as selfish, we might instead see a lack of emotional skill. So when we think about it, there's a lack of skill that we have when we are not able to deal with something. Um, and we can actually find peace and grow as we live firmly grounded in the present moment. So the invitation is be completely honest with yourself or the regrets from the past that you are still holding on to. Explore the possibility of forgiving yourself, letting go of the past, and living more freely now. I really like this one today. Yep. Oh, man. All right, April 8th, uh, quotes the Bible, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up. Um, talks about the two-sided of a person. Sometimes the most irritating thing sometimes, where things actually we appreciate about someone. The traits we complain about in those we love are most likely also some of the things that also makes them wonderful. That makes them who they are. As I'm experiencing different uh, struggles, uh, frustration, I can definitely relate with the statement and recognize that it is something I need to work on and recognize that something that we can see the beauty of both sides of the coin. Invitation, notice the loved one's strengths in action today you can even comment on them to the person, building them up by highlighting their best attributes. If there are things about this person that you have find irritating, see if it is, there's another side of the coin. This annoying trait also have a positive aspect that you appreciate. Enjoy the full experience of knowing this human being. So that's actually quite interesting as you think about how oftentimes our strengths could also be our weakness. And our weakness can also be, quote-unquote, our strengths. So, that's it for now. Bye.